to another episode of Hooked on OC. Thank you very much for tuning in this and every Sunday morning at 7 a.m. We have got a very special show in store for you after the break. We made our annual pilgrimage down to Wachapreek, Virginia to go fishing with my good friend Captain Brian Behe on the Buffalo Hunter Guide Service. And we've got a guest I've been waiting to get on here for a long, long time. My very good friend, Dale Timmons. If you know fishing in Ocean City, you know Dale Timmons. And he's a big fan of flounder fishing like I am. So we're heading down to Watch Creek, Virginia. We're going to put a couple of flatties in the box. Stay tuned after the break. We'll be right back. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Quiet Storm Surf Shop on the boardwalk has the largest selection of sunglasses on the East Coast. Over 800 pairs of coasters, including their new USA models to choose from. Hundreds of Oakley sunglasses, hats, and t-shirts. An enormous collection of Ray-Ban, Smith, Persol, Canon, Revo, and Maui Jim. Quiet Storm Surf Shop has the largest selection of name brand sunglasses. Visit Quiet Storm today. Call Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage whether you are looking to build a new Spencer Sportfish or buy or sell a used Spencer or boat by any other builder. Spencer Yachts and Spencer Yachts Brokerage are the right choices for dependable and unbeatable customer service for all your Spencer needs. Building and selling custom outboards, express and sportfish yachts from our 26-foot center console to our 90-foot sport yacht. Call or email us today to become part of the Spencer family. Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City beach and boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now back for more Hooked on OC. All right, so we have made it down to Watcher Creek, Virginia for our annual trip with Captain Brian. We love coming down here, man. He's got a perfect boat for down here fishing the flats and the channels of Watcher Creek, Virginia. And when we left the house this morning, I'll be honest with you, Captain Jeff Coates, by the way, thank you very much behind the camera again today down in Watcher Creek, Virginia. Captain Jeff sent me a uh, text this morning. <laughs> I'll leave the details out of it, but it said windy, and it sure was, man. We left the house this morning. We were a little anxious about what the wind was going to treat us like down here first thing today, but it turned out to be a beautiful day, and now we're heading out, and we're going to be doing some flounder fishing on board here. And what's the program, man? You know I love drawing channel, but you caught some fish just yesterday with the guys from the spring mix too, so yep. what do you got in the plan? So basically we'll start start there, drawing channel there behind Paramore Island, yeah. and there you got a nice big flat, you got some nice channels, and it's just a matter of, you know, on that outgoing tide and the south wind today, should have a pretty nice drift, should be able to, you know, have a nice little mix of shallow, deep, be able to fish, you know, pretty much everywhere and hopefully find them somewhere. Yeah. Once we find them, we'll start changing yeah. things up. Yep. So, Dale, I'm so glad to have you aboard. Glad Thank to be Thank you here. for joining us, man. Thank you for joining us. Tell Suzanne thanks for letting you out of the house today, too. <laughs> um, so, Dale is the inventor and the designer of the Fishing OC Deadly Double Rig. We've called it the Deadly Double Rig for a long time. Jason Mumford, Captain Jason Mumford of Lucky Break, named it with Dale years and years and years ago. Brian and I have used it pretty much exclusively for flounder fishing over the last 12 or 15 years. And Dale was able to get us, give us the design to be able to bring it back for public use. We'll tell you about that in just a little bit. But you've also brought some rigs with us, right, Dale? you got some that you tied, obviously, that for Brian, yep. a couple for yourself. Yeah, what colors are you planning on using today? Oh, I don't know. I'm probably going to try orange and uh, pink. And uh, I've, I've got a blue ice skirt that I might try. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll see what's, like, cool, what's happening. Like mixing it up. Yeah, yeah, and then like I said, once we find something that's worth, I'm going to use chartreuse and pink. Those are the two colors that we were able to bring back for production. So that's what we sell in the packaging is, is uh, chartreuse and pink. So I'm going to try those, especially chartreuse. My wife's been killing flounder so far this year in Ocean City on chartreuse. So I gotta try that. And then once we get a couple of bites or catch a couple of fish, we'll switch it up. Um, we've got some gulp, 
We've also got some little rigs that I found at a trade show in uh, New York this winter. It looks like a little grass shrimp. We'll try that. We've got shiners. We've got minnows. live minnows. So we've got the bases covered for, as far as the bait is concerned. What we want to do is just find out which color they like. We've all got one different variation of the deadly double on. So we'll see which one works best and then we'll switch it up and we'll, uh, we'll take advantage of whichever one's biting best. Um, and there's some trout down here too. You mentioned on the way That's the out rumor. down here this morning. Captain Jeff was fishing down here just a few weeks ago and caught a nice gray trout. There's been some other trout that have been caught in some of the deeper holes. So we get a couple of flounder in the box. We might try that for a little bit as well. Beautiful day, guys. Gorgeous. Beautiful nice. day. Very nice. Hopefully the bugs don't get us. And I think the three of us are cut from the same cloth, man. We don't care if we catch anything today. It's just about being on the water with great friends. We're going to have a good time regardless. But the guy's good. His rigs are awesome. And I'm a total fool. Captain Jeff behind the, behind the lens. What could go wrong? Here we go, Flounder Fish and Watch Creek, Virginia. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. There's nothing more exciting than a day of offshore sport fishing. The sun, the sea, and a boatload of your friends trying to land the big one. Ocean City Fishing Center is the area's number one charter fleet with 37 boats sailing out every day looking for the big fish. Tuna, marlin, dolphin, and shark. Every crew that sails is dedicated to your excitement. And all our captains are licensed by the U.S. Coast Guard for your safety. Headboats are also available for family fishing fun. Whether your party is big or small, call Ocean City Fishing Center. Tight lines and good times. Hey everybody, looking for what's going on in and around Ocean City? Pick up the Dispatch. 25,000 copies in over 200 locations all around Delmarva. And the Fishing OC Fishing Report by yours truly with pictures from Dave Messick and some of the best captains in the biz. Pick it up. Check out the savings with Racetrack Auto and Marine. We're your one-stop marine center on Route 589. Racetrack Marine is an authorized Yamaha, Century, and Montego Bay dealer. We broker and buy used boats and offer trailer sales and repair. Take advantage of our winterization stow and go packages and receive a $50 discount. Don't wait to buy your boat. Come see us now for boat show pricing. Racetrack Auto and Marine. Sometimes all you have to do is read the signs. Miller Lite has more taste, fewer calories, and half the carbs of Bud Light. What are you holding? Miller Lite, hold true. At Park Place Jewelers, we believe your true love should be wearing the brightest diamond in the room. Why do seemingly identical diamonds have a 70% difference in price? Park Place Jewelers is introducing the Bright Crystal Diamond, which is scientifically proven to be in the world's top 10% of all the world's brightest natural diamonds. Come into Park Place Jewelers and find out why from virtual reality to third-party validation and a GIA grading report, we will provide more buyer education and instill confidence in our customers that the Bright Crystal Diamond they are buying is a world-class diamond. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. You know every season at the last part of May, we end up back in Quiet Storm Surf Shop because it is 32,000 square feet of all things fishing, surfing, and beach lifestyle. And this year we are glad to be back here once again. We'll be bringing you segments every single week at the beginning of the show, showing you what's new here on the Boardwalk store and the store up on 123rd Street later on in the season. New this year, Pure Lure Gear. You gotta come check out this new brand. I've gotta tell you, these shirts are super comfortable, lightweight, breathable. Hats are very comfortable, super fly designs. There's a whole line of this st stuff coming sooner than later. Right now, this is what they've got available at Quiet Storm on the North Division Street in downtown Ocean City. Several different colors in the Mako, the Yellowfin Tuna, And there he is, the Mahi. Really cool colors. And like I say, long sleeve shirts, shorts, jackets, you name it. It's going to be coming from Pure Lure Gear. We'll be bringing more of that to you later on this summer. And what sunglasses go better than anything with offshore apparel? Costa sunglasses. All right, we are here at the Costa Display inside the entrance to Quiet Storm Surf Shop. Right as you come in, make a quick right-hand turn. You cannot miss it. Brand new display here. Beautiful artwork up top and 1,000 pair of Costa Del Mar on the wall where you can walk around and try them on. I've got an old school pair on. Boom. That is Blackfin. Been around for quite a while, but they're coming out with new colors, new lens options. You're looking for a lightweight deck party glass? This is Spiro right boom and 
The wireframe technology that Coast has been coming out with lately, pretty remarkable. This is Cook. Check that bad boy out. Goose. I'm coming in hot, right? Look at that. Flexible hinges on the back, super lightweight, even jumps on big domes like mine. Bam. Get in here. Quiet Storm Surf Shop, 1,000 pair in stock every single day. You're going to find something you like. North Division Street, 32,000 square feet of all things surf, skate, and fish. See you in a second. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Speed World at Jolly Roger Park on 30th Street, one of America's largest, the area's fastest and baddest go-kart tracks. And now, with the lowest prices in Ocean City, Speed World, with 10 tracks and over 500 cars featuring the cyclone of five-story kart coaster, named by Fox News as one of the country's top new amusement attractions. Come to Speed World on 30th Street in Ocean City. Fast and furious fun for the entire family. Now, with the lowest prices in Ocean City. Hi, my name is Stephen Fun, and this is my wife. Hi, Marjorie Fun. And these are the Fun Kids. We vacation in Ocean City, Maryland, because this town has our name written all over it. <laughs> fun, family of four, fun. <laughs> We're the Funs, not the Borings. If you're looking for family fun, do what the Fun family does. Book a week in Ocean City, Maryland. Go to ococean.com, and don't miss free events like Sunset Park Party Nights. Did you know you can bring in your prescription to an optical galleria? Did you know an optical galleria has a lab and makes glasses right here in OC? Did you know an optical galleria is an authorized Costa RX dealer? It's simple. An optical galleria can help you see. If you want awesome old school customer service and hot new styles, bring your prescription in to an optical galleria today. The place to see and be seen. Make an optical galleria your destination for eyewear. Atlantic Tackle, we know fishing. Atlantic Tackle is the Mid-Atlantic's most complete tackle store. Showcasing a huge selection of rods and reels, bait and tackle, artificial lures and leads, apparel and eyewear from industry leaders like Connolly Fishing, Versatech, Baitmasters, Costa, Pelagic, Hook, Sperry, Mojo, and Yeti. Stop by Atlantic Tackle on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill or visit us online at AtlanticTackle.com. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. Not today, but they, they're they trying to book me trips, but I'm booked every day they've tried, and uh, they're giving my people discounts. They're letting them do late checkout. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Ready? Which one Just do the whole thing. Let's all talk at the same time. <laughs> Let's do this. Go ahead. Oh, we're not talking. We're going fishing. We got to get in a boat. We got a thing. And I don't know if Dave will leave us in there or not. But we got a thing where we don't do the opens or the closes until we have fish in the boat and it's actually an official show because we've done that once or twice before. Yeah, we're it gonna wasn't kill him it today. wasn't an official show <laughs> after that. <laughs> the jinx was hard. Yeah, we're going to kill him today. And then like what happened to that show? Now this you can edit back in when we do. Woo! <laughs> You know, I painted this boat this winter. Reference the net again. We got a new net. Last year had a had a few problems. We uh, wore the net out actually, so and it had a hole in it. Right. But this, that's a quality net. You can fit a seven-pound flounder in this net, no problem. Look at that. That's got to weigh at least 12 pounds, maybe four. Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> 60 inches. But we're set. And. It's not as windy as it was at home when we left, so we're not nervous at all. We're excited, and here we go. I caught it on the. I caught it on that. Though. Yeah, I know. Oh. I, I think I had one on that same day. I come down that drop off and hook something that was not a flounder. It was like 30 feet. We yeah. were coming off and like down the bottom. And said, let's just drift across yeah, the channel. Marking a bunch of shit. Yeah. There was a couple caught in Florida this winter on the beach, huh? Uh, which is really unusual. Weak fish. Catch them some of them. Yeah. 
because I'm some in Northeast Florida, but I'm yeah. not seeing many down in where we are. So ready for this? One of my Sport Fish Commission meetings a couple of uh, times ago, so probably eight months, ten months ago. Rock fishing. Get marking all these fish. Little trout, little trout, little rock or Yep. Say we this is this is like what the tackle we got on here today is oh they're trouble. This is uh look at the, look at the fish in OC color the fall. I know that's pretty cool. Oh shit, you guys can hear my We fished in here a day a couple weeks ago and this is the only place with clean water and uh we're talking about lifetime big flounder here. Mine's eight pounds, Brian's is what? I've never caught one ever since. He's not very good at it. <laughs> and Dale Timmons here, 14 pounds. 14 pounds on a bucktail off the Route 50 bridge. You're like 1912. <laughs> man, I'm excited. <laughs> Wasn't that far back, man. <laughs> Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Is your system falling apart due to corrosion? Tired of your system not lasting as long as expected? If you live at the shore, chances are you know how harsh salt air can be on an outdoor unit. The Arctic Air Coastal Series with Salt Shield Protective Coating is designed to withstand the harshest environments with minimal efficiency and capacity loss and is backed by a 10-year corrosive warranty. For more information on the Arctic Air brand, call 410-641-1434. Arctic Air Coastal Series, built for the beach. We catch a lot of fish here at Hooked on OC, and my JPR custom rods are nothing but the best. Some of the finest inshore, offshore, casting, spinning, and trolling rods on the planet today. Custom rods, custom logos, all at unbeatable prices. Go to JPRrods.com. Hey guys, what's up? We're here with Luke from Sandmarks Marketing. He's here to tell us all about this awesome guy he's got ready for you to pick up in town. Luke, what's up? Hey Scott, how you doing? Thanks. Luke Howard from Sandmarks Marketing here to introduce the premier edition of uh, Destination Ocean City in the Delaware Beach. Got a great golf guide in here. Of course, you got something for the fishermen. I do. I also have spa, salon, and attractions for the wife and family too. For a comprehensive overview of the entire Delmarva area. Pick it up in your hotel room while you're in town. Look for the beach chair and you'll be there. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Trying something a little different today. We got chartreuse. I'm going chartreuse, man. My Pink. wife has been killing them on chartreuse. Pink has been really So I'm good. trying chartreuse. Pink always works in the spring. Uh, I found these at a trade show. Check this thing out. Using red yesterday these things are back here eating like grass shrimp in the spring. Good. And I found this yeah, little bad boy at one of the trade shows I go to during the winter. 
And I'll be darned if it doesn't look kind of like a grass shrimp. Colors are real close, especially on the bottom here. They got those shades of, of brown and light brown. This is a crawfish for freshwater fishing, but I'm gonna put this on one and see if I can't trick one into eating it because he thinks it's a grass shrimp. And I've got some flounder belly I'll be putting on there. Brian's got live minnows we'll be putting on there. We've got gulp we'll be putting on there. We'll find out what's working best, and then all of us will probably switch to that if it's most productive. You ever use, they call it like a, I think it's called new panning or something, it's like a coppery red coat. That, that was good. Um, the day I come down with my dad, that was good. That new penny gulp. He's got a skinny little tail, so you gotta be kind of careful getting it through there, but I got enough of a bite on that to get him up the hook. And then I'm just gonna push him up the shank, and he's gonna dangle back there and say, Hello, flounder! Hello, flounder! I bet you could catch me! You can always see black, you know? Yeah. Well, I think that's why the part will work, too. Yep, just dark and dark. Okay. Uh, the fish Eric and caught yesterday picked up a squid about that long. And I said, put that on your hook right That's now. Exactly and he right. did. And it still had its, you know, long tentacles and that thing in the water just... Oh, oh man. We only fished for another two minutes and then the no-seams, you know, I had like exposed bone showing from all the no-seams. <laughs> A professional, man. Flounder Village. Flounder Village, I'm not supposed to use your rig to set them on. No, sir, you can use whatever you like. Because <laughs> guess what? My rigs are yours. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, I, thought, I didn't know if you wanted to. No, 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 no. Nope. Scott, I'm seeing your rigs at about every store I go to. Yeah, they're, uh, they're doing well. Good. Kristen's helped that quite a bit. All right, so there you go. There's a... We caught some flounder in Ocean City last week. Right, I say down. we as in my wife, um, but we, we cut a little bit off the white side of a couple of them, and that's flounder belly you hear so much about. Nice long strips. You can see that strip's probably six inches long, probably a couple in the bag that are a little bit longer than that. Don't be afraid to use them that way. I'm gonna find a big old bull minnow and put it on top of this. You know, that's not legal in Virginia. Are you serious? Or in North Carolina. Yep, seriously? So I should not put it on there? You can't have any cut, any fish that there's a, but I doubt I will. All right, minnow number one, right up through the lips. Minnow number two. Scott, you should put some more stuff on those hooks. Come on, man, there's two pieces of bait on here. Put, like, an extra Don't start already. Those, Don't start already, B.E. See how productive these end up being, and then we'll start talking trash. <laughs> Can I drop it in yet? Yeah, go ahead. Can you hand me two minutes? <laughs> All right, we're fishing in Watchapreg with my good friend, Captain Brian Behe. Come here. Huh. Come here. 15 years, man. 15 years I've been trying. And he's here! Dale Timmons is here! God bless. <laughs> I think I'm going to walk. <laughs> Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. One of the shore's best kept secrets is a secret no more. Ocean Pines Golf and Country Club is home to the only Robert Trent Jones Sr. Championship Golf Course on the Eastern Shore. Ocean Pines is set amongst natural wetlands and scenic woodlands, making it a must play. Experience golf as it was meant to be played. Call 410 641-6057 or visit us online at oceanpinesgolf.org to book your tee time today. Looking for a reliable home improvement contractor can be tough. Some won't return your calls and others don't even show up. Not with Eastern Shore Contracting. We show up. Roofing and painting to full home remodels count on us to complete the job on time and on budget. I'll beat any estimate from any licensed contractor. The project ran like clockwork and I'm really happy with the results. For a limited time, take $1,000 off a new roof. Think Eastern Shore Contracting for all your home improvements. We show up. When it comes to offshore fishing equipment, Okaya means value. Like the 80 offshore combo for 730 and the 50 offshore combo for 530. Call Sophia at 443-880-2222 or check them out at okaya.com. 
Come visit the villas at Inlet Isle, located at 13,000 Marina View Drive in the much sought after location of West Ocean City, Maryland. These 3,000 square foot solid concrete block constructed well appointed luxury townhomes are for incredible Cinepuxent Bay, Ocean City skyline and Marina Views with a southern exposed heated community pool, bathhouse and outdoor shower and much more. For more information or to schedule a private showing contact Celeste Dodson at 443-235-3834. Don't miss out on this rare opportunity. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore available by the bushel or by the dozen. We also offer a full menu including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to Go, Routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Yeah, that's no joke of bike. There you are. Oh. But hey, hey. Yeah, buddy, here we go. There's number one. Wait, what is it, 10 minutes? 10 minutes we're in. <laughs> Don't be a day, 10 bro. minutes we're in. We've All right, bros. All right, bros. All right, bros. Oh my gosh, talk about aggressive. You got some pliers, Brian? Over there. Scott, why don't you go up on the bow? I can do that. Put that cooler up on the bow. Brian, you have pliers? I got a D hooker. That works. I got All right, Goonie Goo Goo. Got one. Goonie Goo Goo. <laughs> we got one in. All right, we're, we're, we're all about releases. That fish was hooked a little bit deep, so we don't want to get to the gore and the guts and stuff like that, which there weren't much of, but there's no sense you seeing me dig through a, a flounder's mouth with pliers. But released swam away to fight again and off to a great start i'd say 10 minutes into this trip and you didn't lose your minnow and i did not lose my minnow and the chartreuse deadly double produces again a father will come make sure let me make sure dill you ever seen a rod that does this Do you? I don't know if I have that or not. It, the one I have is a, it's some kind of bass fishing rod. Yeah, this uh, is a falcon. Jigging rod, worm rod. I bought this rod, and one day I was putting it a rod holder at home like six months after I bought it, and that happened, and I was like, what in the Jack Piper and I both bought them. Making a switch up? No, just a, just a bait freshener. That first fish mushed my minnow enough to, uh... Look at that little crab right oh there. My, oh my, oh my, oh my god, oh my gosh. Every once in a while, <clears throat> you reach into a minnow supply, like that. and you go, whoa, what was that? <laughs> and that's what you come up with. I but that the, is, that is thing. flounder candy, man. You reach I thought there. he put an eel or a snake or something in there, and then, oh! I do the same Look at that thing down. though in the water. Holy moly. <laughs> your flounder belt is going to be gone next time you pull it up. You mean my gulp? <laughs> yeah, your uh, gulp strip. <laughs> I have some of that Bob's Your Uncle stuff. I got pink That stuff's pretty good. Okay. Mud all the time. Yeah. Got him. There's one. Uh, He's gonna be close. What game, what game? Yeah. Nah, he's like 15 and a half. So, but this with this nice new rubber net, you yeah, can just take it right out deal. and lower him right. on the deck, and then you go, Brian, why did I net that again? First flounder I've ever caught, Scott. Today. Ooh, he's cold. Brian, best idea is gonna be turn away from the camera so we don't get any of okay, that. Okay, yeah, see so what we got here. <laughs> First throwback of the day, not a bad fish. I mean, it's rig. bad enough you've covered your face up. You can see the rig. You, you robber, bank robber. Well, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with. He's. Yeah, I don't want anybody around here to. You know, I'm trying to stay anonymous. We're still Because you know, I got. Yeah. Well, I got you on the boat. He's from out of town. We're on here with the camera and everything. You don't want anybody to know what's going on. That nice fish, work. That fish was so small, I was embarrassed to show it on camera. Enough with the throwbacks. <laughs> now were you trying 
trying to be funny? <laughs> You're so stupid, your fish is gone too. Your rod, you had to kick your rod into your own hand, and now your fish is gone too. I couldn't have done that on purpose. I'm serious, man. I couldn't have done that on purpose. No, I really did like this. Oh, please tell me you got oh, that on boy. Oh, hey, Messick, Messick, play that back in slow motion for the people, will you? What a clown show. <laughs> that rod just went right out of my hand. Oh, my God. I've been fishing for 30 years, and that's never happened before. Maybe that was a fish, too. Your rod was dumped over on the, when you set the hook. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, that was... oh, 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 you know that was gone too if your leg didn't come up and kick it back in here. Oh, oh, oh my god. I've been fishing for 30 years and I've never Prove had a rod slip in here. Seriously, man. That, yeah. That okay. was. Folks, remember when you jump oh. on board the Buffalo Hunter Guide Service, it's all about your safety, not the safety of the captain's equipment. <laughs> Oh, I'm serious, man. That was, I've seen that happen, but I've never, it's never happened to me. That was some Bill Dance garbage there. <laughs> Somebody said whether you're 100, uh, 100 yards or 100 feet, it's too deep to stand and you're not swimming home. He dropped it. He dropped it. Who? Must be the rig. Oh, no, he had it. Oh, he had it? Didn't have it? Yeah. Look at your that was a crab. What? Don't try that with me. Dude, look at the side of it. Come on, man. That is a crab. Yeah, that was a crab. That is a crab. Show them. Show them, show them what, the, what, what that means. There's pinch marks. Right across there. The bite felt a little funny. Not quite like a flounder. And then pull them up, and that's the signature, signature calling card of a crab right there. Just pinched him. Straight across like that? That's a crab, a little curve to it, maybe a flounder because their mouth at the at the tip has got a little bit of that curve to it, whereas a crab claw, straight across and pinch down hard every time. And we're not crabbing. Not yet. We've we'll got to start catching some more fish. We'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> but we went away. Coming down this hard drop off here. Yeah, 44 feet now. 44 feet. No bites. Go back down there. Back to the pile, boys. Did you get him up there? Yeah. Skate? Yeah. Don't be a skate. Don't let it fool you. He's spinning. We don't like it, but what the heck? Ooh, this is a shark. <laughs> Get me out of here. I'm not netting that. We're out of here. Yeah, guys. All right, folks, that's it. We're done. You catch dog over. sharks in yeah. Watch Creek, Virginia while you're flounder fishing, you call it a day. So yeah. come back after the break and see if we're still fishing. <laughs> My old buddy. Yeah, I think it's back up in the drawing channel after that jump. I was thinking to trap. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Whether it's a chart plot or fish finder combo for your inshore bay boat or a complete electronics package including radar, plotter, thermal imaging camera, autopilot or sonar, East Coast Marine Electronics can handle it all. Veteran owned and operated, give Chad a call at 443-880-7206 or email at chad at eastcoastmarineelectronics.com. Hi, my name is Stephen Fun, and this is my wife. Hi, Marjorie Fun. And these are the Fun Kids. We vacation in Ocean City, Maryland, because this town has our name written all over it. Fun, family of four, fun. We're the Funs. Not the Borings. If you're looking for family fun, do what the fun family does. Book a week in Ocean City, Maryland. Go to OCOcean.com and don't miss free events like movies on the beach. 
In the early days of the boardwalk in Ocean City, Mr. J.T. Thrasher introduced a unique concept, one in which a food concession stand would specialize in only one product. Yes, in 1929, Mr. Thrasher had one goal, to produce the best tasting french fry ever. Today, five generations and 84 years later, tradition still reigns supreme. The emphasis is on quality and nowhere will a better french fry be found. Now Thrasher's, the best french fries on the planet, can be found on 2nd Street in the boardwalk and 8th Street in the boardwalk, as well as our original location at the pier. Termites can strike without warning, coming up and damaging support structures of your home undetected for years. That's why it's vital to have termite protection you can trust. At Bennett Termite and Pest Solutions, besides our great service, we also stand behind our termite defense programs, from a chemical treatment to our termite bait station system. Help Bennett Termite and Pest Solutions make Delmarva termite free again. Remember Delmarva, quality isn't expensive, it's priceless. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Thank you for tuning in to Hooked on OC. We are at Atlantic Tackle now for the Angler's Advantage, and I am once again joined by Scott Castleberry. Good morning. Of Penn Abu Garcia. How you doing, man? Yeah, doing well. Really appreciate you being with us again. We're here to talk about some of the stuff that we're going to be getting into real, real soon. Flounder fishing here is starting up. Uh, the offshore season starts usually end of May, first part of June, so we're going to talk about some gulp products that we'll be using in the bay, and then some reels and things that we can be using offshore. So if you don't mind, man, let's talk about this stuff. Of what's new, uh, everybody knows the swimming mullet and the Gulp yep. Berkeley products. What came uh, to the U.S. last year that kind of changed the face of flounder fishing was some of the new grubs and grub colors. Uh, the six inch salmon red set records all up and down the east coast. Now we have the brand new five inch grub. Perfect size for the flounders. Uh, four standard colors in it now with four more coming this summer. Yeah. So for all the salmon red fanatics, you'll be able to get it this summer in the five inch. Right now you can get white glow, pink shine, nuke chicken, and chartreuse here at Atlantic Tackle. Yeah, Michelle says that July the salmon red will be available in the five inch here at Atlantic Tackle. Sure will. They'll be one of the first to get it right Very here. Very good. Okay. And those different grubs come in sizes for the, the Pack, this pack, four count, five pack or count, depending on the size of the grub, and then they also come in half pint and pint sizes. So if you if you fish a lot, like I do, I, I get the pint all the time because I want way more baits and I don't want to be restocking all the time. So you've got different options, different price points. We we sure do. From five ninety nine to nineteen ninety nine, gotcha. uh, we we can cover your angler needs. Yeah, the more you buy, the more you're going to save as you get larger in the sizes. Exactly. You got products for keeping your reel maintained, right? If you do it at we home by yourself, day. you got stuff you can t take home, lubricate it, clean it. Sure can. They're, they're a very complete store here. If you need real cleaner, real oil, real grease, real covers to keep yeah. the salt spray off of it, they have it here. And speaking of reels, yeah. uh, brand new Spin Fisher Series 6, uh, new 2500 size, 15 pounds of drag, $139 retail. It's great price. Uh, great real strongest 2500 we've ever made. And speaking of strength, for your offshore needs, they have all the slammers here, all the way to the 10,500 size. But this 6500 high speed, 40 pounds of drag, 62 to 1 gear ratio, 299 retail, tremendous reel for tuna fishing, anything you want to do with it. Yeah, you're going to see lots of boats with this on there for their spinning stuff where they get on a school of mahi, dolphin. And they want to bail them. This is you're gonna have four or six of these come out of the salon you out in the sure cockpit, can. and they're gonna rip them around. And you'll see it in the surf as well. You'll yep, see a lot of surf good. guys using this size, and we offer it in an 8,500 size. We just got back from Costa Rica, and we caught some big rooster fish down there. One of them was about 50 or so pounds, and this is the kind of stuff we were using. High speed's key for rooster fishing. Yeah. Uh, quicker you can bring the bait through the barrel, the harder that rooster is going to hit it. That led to part of the development of this reel. Gotcha. Fantastic. Thanks very much for joining Thank us again, you. Scott. We really appreciate it. Guys, you can get in touch with them here at Atlantic Tackle at AtlanticTackle.com or give them a call at 410-213-0421. They're at the east end of the Commercial Harbor, right on Sunset Avenue across from Sunset Grill. You can come and check out all the new products and this extensive line of gold products that you will see in my boat soon enough. We'll be right back after the break for some more Hooked on OC. See you in a second. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back.
Sunset Provisions is Delmarva's largest marine supply retailer, stocking an unmatched selection of pumps, paints, hoses, cosmetic care products, and marine hardware. Featuring the absolute best brands in the industry, combine this unbelievable in-stock selection of top name brands with super competitive pricing and a seasoned staff that can help you navigate your project. Make Sunset Provisions Delmarva's go-to marine supply store. So stop by or call today and see for yourself what makes Sunset Provisions the area's best marine supply store. Sunset Provisions is located in West Ocean City at Sunset Marina. Sometimes, all you have to do is read the signs. Miller Lite has more taste, fewer calories, and half the carbs of Bud Light. What are you holding? Miller Lite. Hold true. At Spencer Yachts, your ideas can become a reality in a sport fishing yacht unequaled in style, performance, and value. Spencer Yachts has taken the Carolina style and tradition of boat building with a unique look and transformed it into a world-class, high-performance sport fishing yacht. Check out Spencer Yachts currently for sale and all other sport fishing yachts available for sale with Spencer Yachts Brokerage at SpencerYachtsInc.com. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Look at that, look at the hook, rust on that hook. Well, that's, been in my box that's back where it started, folks. <laughs> Acetique tackle, the Delmarva double was one of Dale's line. I bought a sack of them because I was, they were good. I was killing them. Yep. Now we're all fishing with deadly doubles on there. Those are birds. How many bands you see, Scott? I can Oh! Oh! Nice, there. Hey, listen, you don't want that. Are you, you kidding me? See, what's this yeah stuff? You don't have a net of flounder. You just got to make sure you want it netted. <laughs> I just don't think it needed to be netted. No. I just don't think it needed to be netted. Uh huh. Trade off beautiful weather like this for some bugs to be around. It's kind of an even swap because it's beautiful right now. Watch pre. We've had some pretty good days, but it's absolutely gorgeous right now. Probably upper 60s, low 70s, no wind, sunshine. But because of that, we got a few bugs around us. Um, and you know why they call them bugs? Because they're bugging us. <laughs> it was certainly was like when you could catch it, but you fish it. He's fishing. Isn't that way now? Yep. <laughs> Kill me. Well, make it, nice though. job. <laughs> Don't yeah. make it. Check this out. Top hook on the shrimps. The scrimps? The scrimps. There we go. Yeah. Alright man, listen, that was just the uh that was just the old let's test this thing out and see how it works out. Oh my goodness. Guess why we I thought two pump th felt two bumps. Oh. This fish was starving to death. That's the true deadly double. This right is there, deadly God. double, son. <laughs> Look at this. Man. Talk about talk about a rig working. There's my top hook, right? There's my top hook. I thought that this was doing the trick with this this little thing I decided to try out with that shrimp. But well, guess what? We're in shallow water, drifting really slow. There's my top hook. There's my bottom hook <laughs> down his down his throat. So. That's he just didn't want to go any place. I don't see any beads. I don't see any spinner blade. I don't see any of it. That is the true deadly double. That is a deadly double. Let's put a measure on and find out what's up. We're looking for 16 and a half. All right. 16 and a half gets me, gets me a keeper for another keeper for mama and, and I can do some dissection on this thing and I don't have to worry about it too bad. Yeah, buddy. 17 and a half. 
Yes, sir. 17 and a half. There's our first, that's my first keeper of the whole year, Ocean City or Watch Creek. Captain Brian, thank you. Yeah, man. There we go. Chartreuse Deadly Double, invented by that man right there. So many years ago, we've used them religiously for a long, long time because they work really, really well. There's my first keeper of the year. You are watching Hooked on OC. Most of the time down here in Watchapreek, most years we come down here, ouch, we've got flurries of activity followed by flurries of inactivity. Tide seems to get to a certain point and then these fish get active and start biting. Brian just had a bite, missed one. I had a bite, give him a little, <laughs> give him a little space, came back, ate it. These bugs are terrible down here right now, but I'm in great company and we're catching fish and it's beautiful out. Feels better. Whoa, hey. <laughs> I think he nice did that shot. on his own, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Jumper. 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 Man, nice. I really like these rubber nets, man. Yeah, nice flat makes... bottom. You can drop the fish right in there like that. Brian dropped that fish in there perfectly. You can keep the rig tight as you hold your line tight toward the top and you just lift it in, drop them on the deck like that. That's a beautiful thing. Thing, man you're finding right now as he takes this this fish off the hook these things are aggressive yeah, we're, we're drifting a little bit faster right now but I, I had a gut hooked fish uh, we threw back I got the hook out he's able to swim away the fish that I kept was gut hooked and had another hook in his mouth from my top hook and now Brian's caught this keeper and this thing is gut hooked so they are really being aggressive as they take these baits there's no mistaking when you get a bite that's for sure you get a nice big thump and then there's no real weight in and that's what we end up with. Look at that belly. Right at 25. Scott. I don't think you for staying here. Nice one, Scott. Yeah, better than first one, second. Come on, dang baby. Not crazy, but nice. Look at that. Oh, look at that, is right. By, hey, keep him out, he's going back on the hook. By hook or by crook, that was by crook. Good drop right on deck. <laughs> hey man, right place, right time. I apologize, but hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no lie, Dale got a bite. I, I looked over, he said, there he is. I looked over, his rod was bent pretty steady over and it came right off maybe two seconds later or so. And I'm a little bit further down the drift. So no joke, this fish was probably in the same vicinity. Who knows if it was the same fish, but it sure looks like it. So his dismay is my reward, but he gets fillets and we're done too. So we're good to go. <laughs> That's not a crab. Hold on, the net's upside down. No funny games, please. <laughs> Oh, look, he's on the top hook. Yeah. It, ain't even, it ain't even on the big bait. That. That's why you want a good net, man, Dale? folks. You on, Bill? It's not very really big. That's why you want a good net, man. Right there. That thing came out right away. Look at that. But he hit the deck. You want to measure that one, Dale? Neck. Got him off the bottom, yeah, I don't think so. Nope. All right, man, look at that. Come on, a little man. shrimp, the little shrimp deal. The little shrimp deal produced again. Oh, you did this last time. Nice fish. <laughs> yeah, well, listen, we'll take it. Dale can't do anything without knocking himself down a baker. 
<laughs> he meant to be. Uh, yeah, I, Dale and I were on the same page. I know, I know. Look at this thing, man. These things are aggressive. They are taking whole baits, man, and swallowing hooks and everything to get it down there. Not make, not playing any games. So we'll get to him in a second. But let's give him a measure. Well, now that Dale caught a fish, let's get out of here. Yeah, time to go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go somewhere else. Right. <laughs> Ow! I shut the camera off. He bite. He said, let's go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Guys, don't forget this. Nose into the board. That's why these gator boards are really nice. You put the nose up into it, close the mouth, and then fan the tail out to see where it hits. 17 inches is half inch big enough. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> like the excise tax on every rig and all that shit. Yeah. How do you feel, Dale? Yeah, I don't feel too bad. There's a fish? Shit, I don't even know what's going on over here. Hold on. Oh, you got me. There's a fish on there, though. Yeah. I don't know if you're making it or not. Yeah, well, I think you will, man. Better, He's definitely getting it. Oh, and that's why we do that. Yeah. That's why we do that, folks. I definitely made it out. Back when I worked on the Tortuga and the Bay Party boats, man, people made that mistake all the time. You get the fish next to the boat, and then you pull up out of the water. Oh, I'm gonna get this in the boat. Lots there of times not. flounder are gonna fall off. You always wanna net them head first so they can swim into the net. Make sure your angler's good like Dale just did and leave his head in the water so you can get the net underneath him. And he's long, but I ain't. Measure it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Dale. Oh. I might make you come look at this. <laughs> look. I can't even read it. I don't know if that's worth the man. Uh, that's right. That's right. We got nah. five in the box already. We got a we got a quarter inch. Now yeah. we got a quarter inch. This man's conscientious as much as I am about it. So is Brian. Here goes. Hey, that's the biggest keeper or biggest throwback you can catch. So pretty well. You cannot catch them any bigger than this and still be a throwback. <laughs> it's the biggest throwback you can catch. Yep. Oh, oh shit. Scott, he's pulling like serious oh. fucking drag. Oh. Jeff, can you back the boat up a little bit? Yeah, good. Like, yeah, dude. Jeff. Come on, let's let's finish the day here. Yeah, spin her that way if you can. Back the other way. Yep. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I got Dale's big hooks on here, we're good. Don't be a skate. That's not a skate. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Dale was smiling the whole time he knew it was a skate. That's why I waited. He was smiling the whole time. Why the fuck? We're out of here. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what? On that note, we'll head back to the barn. <laughs> Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Red Sun Custom Apparel is Ocean City's leader in t-shirts, embroidery, and promotional products. Simply put, the best graphics you'll see anywhere. 
Call Red Sun today at 302-988-8300. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. Here we go, man. We did it again. Fish high fives. Yeah. Butterfingers. (laughs) Butterfingers. We did it again, man. We love coming down here to watch a pre. The season down here starts a little bit earlier than it does in Ocean City. I think the first fish was caught down here sometime like that third week in March. My wife, Kristen, caught the first fish in Ocean City this year on April the 4th. So it's usually a few weeks before. And as, as you get through May, it gets nothing but better, man. Things in Ocean City pick up. You know, starting probably late April into May, and it gets good for us, so why travel down here? But this time of the year, man, it is well worth the trip. Thank you again, bro. Yeah, no problem. How do Thank people you. How do people get in touch with you? And I know now you've got accommodation options and all kinds of things yeah, going absolutely. on down here. What's you, up? You come down fishing Watch Preak here. They got an awesome hotel, Watch Preak Inn, renovated rooms and everything. Very convenient. Literally 100 yards from the boat ramp. Doesn't get any better. You can give me a call, 240-876-9054. Follow me on Instagram, Buffalo underscore Hunter underscore Fishing, and also on Facebook, Buffalo Hunter Guide Service. And you'll see Dale on 611 running stuff for Smoker's Barbecue, right? Stop in there and grab something. I'll be there probably the next couple of days. Carrie, guys, thanks very much over there. And Dale, thanks so much for coming along, man. Yeah, yeah, truly, I, thank I, you. Enjoyed it. We really Great. appreciate it. You know, you know from our standpoint, uh, it's all about being out here with friends and having a good time. Oh, yeah. When we can do this, it's just bonus material, man. Bonus material. And like I said, Dale Timmons' deadly double rigs are back. Fishing OC was able to bring them back. Check your local tackle shop or fishingoc.com if you'd like to put them on your boat, all right? All right, Ocean City is next, man. We're going flounder fishing up there. The thoroughfare bite is off the chain right now, so we're going to be trying it in the next couple of weeks. Look out for Chad Tulak from East Coast Marine Electronics. See if we can get him on my boat. Show me that Garmin unit that's out there. (laughs) We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.